Kobe. Oh. What did I usually say? She's a Mona Lisa. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. What's up, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, what's up? What's good? Subscribe down below and if you're not new to my channel if you're a returning og part of the gang what's good what's up then welcome 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 back 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 welcome i said i welcome i said i bet hey i said i bet hey i said i bet hey i said i so today i'm here with a video that is extremely 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 long Overdue. I was literally supposed to make this video like two weeks ago and just never did it. So here we are now. Hello. So basically, I'm doing a back to school try on haul. Okay, I have a bunch of clothes literally just waiting for me to do this video. And I just, we gotta do it. You know, we gotta, we gotta do it. So I got a bunch of clothes. Like, before school started. I'm already in school right now. But I had, like, I got a bunch of clothes before school started. And, like, I just got a bunch of stuff, right? So, I just want to show y'all everything that I got. Today's video is sponsored by Teddy Blake. They sent me a purse. So, basically, they sent me this. And this is a part of the haul because, sis, this is cute. I have not worn this. I have not even really touched this because I've been waiting on this video. So, this is one of their purses, bro. And basically, Teddy Blake, it's like a luxury company, but without that luxury price tag. <laughs> because you know, I don't have that. I cannot buy no Birkin, okay? If you're a person that likes like fancy purses, you like luxury purses, then definitely this is probably the type of purse for you. I'm not even gonna cap like I can go buy a Chanel bag, like no. It's gray on the outside and actually like rose pink on the inside and I absolutely love that color scheme and basically it just goes on your side like this like it just it just you feel me it's not just this one style on their website like they have a bunch of styles for everyone so you can really see what you like what you don't like what you want to buy what you don't want to buy they're always updating and adding new styles so you'll always be satisfied you feel me this is personally the one i like if you don't like it that's fine just go on the inside and see what you do like sis i'm not I'm not, or bro, because we don't discriminate over here. So for back to school, I did end up getting three pairs of shoes. Got Vans, two pairs of Vans actually. And then I got one pair of Nikes. So I'm going to show y'all the Nikes first. So basically I got these orange, like, they remind me of the off-white. So, okay, we got to focus that because that's not cute. Let me hold it back. They remind me of the um off-white Nike so much just because of the design. Like it says, like, just do it on the back. It just has like a bunch of stuff going on. Like, they're too bright for the camera to really like capture. But they're so fire to me. Even on the laces, they're like, just do it, just do it. Like, I got these from StockX. I think I got them for 100. They are a uh, five and kids. Came with like car bumper stickers, which whenever I get my car, I will be putting these on. I usually always give in, so this is kind of very out of the box for me. Next pair of shoes I got were some Vans, and they were this um these shoes that I've wanted for so long. If you follow my spam, you know these. Oh my gosh, bro! I've wanted these shoes. Oh, okay. I've wanted these shoes. Okay, let me hold on up so y'all can really see what I'm talking about. I've wanted these shoes for literally since 2017. And they were a part of like a limited collection for Vans. So they went out of stock, of course, and I could never find them again. And then I just recently found them on eBay. So these aren't completely new. These are like pre-owned. Unfortunately, I couldn't find like a new pair, but these were pre-owned in pretty good condition. So I just went and scooped them up for about $60. And they're still cute. I did get them a little dirty like the first day I wore them actually, but you can't really see it. Plus, I just really wanted these. Like, I did not care. I just really wanted these. But yeah, I did get them a little dirty, which makes me like not want to wear them like ever again because I don't want to get them dirty because they're such a limited. I'm trying to figure out how did I get this so dirty? We got this last pair of bands. These go stupid. 
That's so crazy because these really go dumb. Oh my god. So y'all see just some bands. Oh my god. <laughs> and then it has the yellow. The yellow on the inside. Like y'all might have just did some. Y'all might have just did some. I got these from East Bay for I don't even know $60. There was one left in my size. I'm not even capping. There was one pair left in my size. Like, can you say bless? Can you say bless, bless, bless? Like, I love these so much. They go with a lot of stuff in my wardrobe because they are rainbow. And I have been buying a lot of bright colored clothes lately. First thing I got was this. It's a newspaper tube top. And then I got this from Forever 21. Fun fact, I was literally like walking out and then I just saw this and I was like, gotta get you. I gotta get you. Oh, and it was nine dollars and ninety cent. As y'all can see, I still got a tag on this. Like I gotta wear this, but it's real cute. And it got that newspaper print. It say extra, extra, extra. Girls take over Wall Street. It's real cute. It's a real cute. It's a real cute shirt. Um, definitely need to wear it before it starts getting a little cooler because who finna be freezing? Who's gonna be who's gonna be freezing? Anyways, that's the first thing. I'm sorry, like everything's still on hangers and everything. But I wanted this shirt for absolutely so long. And that's this Dragon Ball Z shirt. Okay, tag Dragon This is like this Dragon Ball Z shirt. And it says Dragon Ball Z in like this neon green color. Like I don't know how long I wanted this shirt. Like I wanted this shirt since I saw it online. And then I went in the store and I saw it for like double the price. I was like, still, I'm still getting it because look. It's fire, so simple. Do I watch Dragon Ball Z? No. Have I seen it before? Yeah. So I feel like that makes me, I can wear the shirt. I don't care, you know? I don't care, right? So this shirt was $18 online. It was a lot cheaper and I could have got it online but I didn't have the time at the time. So that's the shirt, super cute. Comes with a little limited edition Dragon Ball Z tag, whatever. Y'all get that one. Next shirt I got, this actually was not from Forever 21. I actually got this shirt off of eBay. Um, It's just this like, okay, it's like this character from Charlie Brown. I don't know his name. And I remember something about it. It was like, it was like political tension with this character being on the show. Something about that. But I got this shirt. It's just like a t-shirt. I got this on eBay because I was, I just, I came across it one day and I was like, I really gotta get it. It is kind of oversized on me because I got it like a little too big. So it's just like, I really just wear this on like super casual days, but it's really, 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 really so cute. Like, oh my gosh, but yeah, that's this shirt. I don't even know how much I got it for. It wasn't a lot, but you know, it was eBay, so I don't really know. So I forgot. This thing I got was this shirt. Oh my God, I love this shirt. So I gotta like take it off the hanger. I feel like I work in retail, but oh my gosh, I love this shirt so much. Oh my gosh, oh my God. So that basically this is a Sesame Street shirt, but it's like the streetwear brand cause. So it's like the where the characters have their eyes like X'd out and stuff. Y'all know, you might not know. I don't know how much I pay. I think I might've paid like $20 for this shirt, maybe a little less, but it's just in small. Then I got this shirt. This is actually from Shein, Shein, Shein. Y'all have seen me in this shirt before. Um, really not one of my most recent shirts, but it's just a shirt and it says Ghoul Gang on it. Don't know why I got it. I just, it was cute and it felt really simple. So I just got this shirt. Next thing I got, actually, y'all probably saw me in before, actually, is this um tank top. Like, I literally got this the same time I got the newspaper shirt and everything. And this is from Forever 21. I believe it was about, eight dollars six somewhere around there but it's just a like striped shirt and then the next thing i got was this pink jacket so it's just this pink jacket and it's bright orange they were having a sale and this is what they had left so i was like why not like i don't have like a lot of orange in my um in my wardrobe so like i might as well just get this like it's fine so I just got this it does match a pair of shoes that i have I got these jeans that i got from hollister there are seven and they're just these like olive jeans. I really needed new olive jeans, so I went and caught them when they were having a sale, of course, because I'm not finna buy fifty dollar jeans. But I got these for like twenty something, twenty five. And um, they're seven. They're just these like olive jeans, real nice, real cute. Ended up getting like three bags of stuff from Ross. Like, 
And if you saw my school supply haul, this is also when I went to get my desk. But that's another story for another time. Go watch my school supply haul. I had like three bags of things from Ross. If you know anything about Ross, it is like a very um, discounted store. But they still have cute clothes. There's always YouTube videos on YouTube about like how like they went to Ross and like did this. Or like Ross versus like high end stores and stuff like that. This is not sponsored by Ross. But definitely go check out Ross because honestly people sleep on it so much which makes it pretty good for me when I go shopping in there because I don't have to worry about people being in there. It's always pretty empty, pretty chill. I'm going to start showing y'all everything I got from there. No particular order, nothing like that. So let's go. First thing I got was this Tom and Jerry sweatshirt, bro. Tom and Jerry is definitely a staple of my childhood. So when I saw this, I was like... And plus, it reminds me of me and my brother, so definitely had to get that. You got Tom, you got Jerry, what's up? It's a medium, and then on the sides, it says Tom and Jerry on it. Next thing I got was this, like, it was, this is so simple, but it's like, it, it's kind of more fall, I feel like, this shirt here. Um, oh, oh, also the Tom and Jerry shirt, it was $13. $13 for a sweatshirt. Forever 21 could never. This, this little shirt. It looked like something from Brandy Melville. We don't shop there though. I don't know. Yuck. I got this shirt. It looks like something that would be from Brandy Melville. But it just reminded me really of fall. And I don't have like a lot of fall themed clothes. And this just screamed like autumn. Like it just said autumn. So I got this. This is in a medium. And then I got this for $8. It's really cute. Got a little buns on it. Next thing I got was this another, another like fall themed shirt. Cause like I said, I don't have a lot of fall stuff. So yeah, it's just, this like kind of, this is a very versatile piece of clothing because you put it like off the shoulder. You can wear it cropped. Like it's really cute, but it just screamed fall to me as well. Literally like this screams Thanksgiving or something. Like I just love this so much. Like I said, I don't have a lot of fall themed clothes. So I was very excited to get stuff that's a little out of my comfort zone, out of my wardrobe. Because it felt nice. Usually I just get a bunch of graphic tees and jeans and call it a day. But I tried to do stuff a little differently. Next thing I got was actually another graphic tee. Um, this was $9. It's just this like... Pac-Man, this is the back, and then this is the front. It's just like this Pac-Man shirt. I absolutely love this shirt. Y'all know, like I said, I love my graphic tees so much, and Ross was definitely feeding my obsession. So, then you got the bag, and it's just like Pac-Man on it. You know, just standard, standard little shirt. Really cute. I love this shirt so much. I'm not even gonna cap like I don't. It's kind of cropped, not really cropped to the point where you'll notice, but if you raise up your arms, you'll probably see your belly button. Next thing I got was just this really basic t-shirt, but it was so cute. It just has this like little car on it. <laughs> At first I wasn't going to get this, but I was just like, go ahead and get in the car. Get in the car. So it's just like this very casual tee, and it just has like this um red car on it. And then on the back it says like a bunch of stuff, born to ride, go fast, no limit, just a bunch of like car stuff. I love car shirts. Um... <laughs> I really do, but who doesn't love car shirts? Like, they're so nice. So, yeah, this shirt was approximately $9. Second bag, I got this pair of black jeans. I don't have the tags on these, unfortunately, because I did wear these. Um, But Ross jeans are always very affordable. They're very cute. Just really nice. So, I got these. They're just basic black jeans. Like I said, Ross jeans are not very expensive. So, even though I don't have the price... It was an affordable price, especially for some jeans. Next thing I got was something I was very excited to get. This was about $22 um, from Ross. And once you see, you're going to be like, okay, I understand why. Because it's like this Polaroid um, sweatshirt. I mean, not sweatshirt. Um, windbreaker. I love windbreaker so much. So much. Next thing I got were these ripped jeans. Gotta love some ripped jeans. Can't, can't do nothing without it. These were, I still have the tag on these. These were $16.00. Um, these are really like nice curvy jeans. Um, as you can see, they're just ripped all over. They're ripped at the bottom. Like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear these. These are 26 or a 7, whichever one, you know, whichever scale you're going by. Next thing I got was this bodysuit that I did wear my first day. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. But this is a bodysuit that I did wear my first day. Just a basic black bodysuit. I really needed just something ba very basic. But yeah, because my first day outfit was very basic and simple because I just was not feeling like dressing up. And then at the bottom, it has like the button thing so you can pee when you want to pee and not feel like 
you taking off a swimsuit. So this is this right here. I don't know how much it was. Honestly, I feel like it was like nine dollars or something. And it's just like a ribbed material. You can kind of see it going on. It's very stretchy, very comfortable. So that's bag two. I got a skirt, y'all. And I know it's just like what? Like you don't even wear skirts. I actually do. Um, it's just like this jean jacket skirt. I really, oh my god, this would be so cute with the purse from Teddy Blake and like this and like a top or something. I don't know what top, but that would be really cute and very classy. This was $11 and it's very like out of my style. That's what I was like, we're definitely copping that. Next and last thing I got actually was this, another windbreaker. And it was just a, this like pink um, windbreaker with checkers on it. You know, you see... It's just casual. Has a hoodie, drawstrings intact. Um, at first I wasn't gonna get this because I feel like I had way too many pink items, which I do. But this goes with like a lot of my shoes. That's why I really had to get it because of course, checkerboard vans, like you cannot pass up. I got this for $15 and yes. Honestly, I think that's everything. Like I said, that's everything. That's all the clothes I got for back to school. I did not get like a lot of clothes, like an extreme amount, oh my God. Like, cause I already had bought like a bunch of clothes over the summer. So I just wanted to do like a mini haul for you guys today, a mini try on haul. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Definitely check out Teddy Blake in the description. All the links and everything will be in my description. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Check out my back to school series. 2019 and check out my back to school series 2019 but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video i love you guys so much and peace Got me like a pug, it's never enough when it comes to the juice Chevy pick up when it comes to my mood i don't see a thing when it comes to a roof turn a tight rope to a goddamn noose I do. it ain't nothing to me yep. young tom hardy with the movies act out smoothly make you for the goofies